Heart and kidneys, a duo more connected than you might think. While we take care of heart health, we often forget about another vital organ, the kidneys. But did you know that some of the remedies we take to protect our heart can, ironically, be harmful to the kidneys? Today, on Health Dose, we will delve into the surprising and complex world of cardiology and nephrology to reveal 10 common medications that can compromise renal health. But before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, just click the red button below. The first medication on our list is ibuprofen, popularly known as a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID. Widely used to relieve pain, inflammation, and fever, ibuprofen is an easily accessible remedy, available over-the-counter in many pharmacies. However, its indiscriminate use can have serious consequences for kidney health. When taken in high doses or for an extended period, ibuprofen can reduce blood flow to the kidneys. This happens because it interferes with the production of certain chemicals that dilate blood vessels, essential for proper renal filtration. Frequent and high-dose use of ibuprofen can lead to a condition called interstitial nephritis, an inflammation of the kidneys that decreases their ability to filter waste from the blood. In more severe cases, it can even progress to chronic kidney failure a serious condition where the kidneys lose their ability to function effectively. This is especially concerning for individuals with pre-existing renal health conditions or patients who continuously use medications for other chronic conditions. Therefore, it is crucial to use ibuprofen consciously and in moderation, always under medical guidance, to avoid potential kidney damage. The second medication on our list is naproxen, another member of the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID, family, similar to ibuprofen. Used to alleviate various types of pain, such as muscle pain, headaches, dental pain, and even arthritis symptoms, naproxen is recognized for its effectiveness. However, its impact on the kidneys is a matter that deserves attention. Like other NSAIDs, naproxen can cause a decrease in renal blood flow, which impairs kidney function, especially in chronic users or at high doses. Prolonged use of naproxen can lead to significant renal complications. In particular, individuals who already have kidney diseases or conditions that predispose them to kidney problems, such as diabetes or hypertension, should exercise extra caution. Naproxen can worsen renal function in these patients, increasing the risk of kidney failure. Furthermore, naproxen's interaction with other medications can potentiate its negative effects on the kidneys. Therefore, the prescription and use of naproxen should be carefully evaluated and monitored by a healthcare professional, taking into account the patient's medical history and specific conditions. The third medication that can have significant adverse effects on the kidneys is lithium, a compound primarily used in the treatment of mood disorders such as bipolar disorder. Lithium is effective in stabilizing mood and preventing episodes of mania and depression, but its use requires careful monitoring due to its narrow therapeutic index and potential toxicity, including renal toxicity. When the blood level of lithium becomes too high, either due to excessive dosing or reduced renal elimination, it can begin to negatively affect kidney function. Prolonged use of lithium is associated with an increased risk of developing a form of chronic kidney disease known as lithium-induced nephropathy. This condition can manifest as a reduction in the kidney's ability to concentrate urine, leading to a state of polyuria excessive urine production, and polydipsia, excessive thirst. Moreover, in more severe cases, the prolonged use of lithium can lead to chronic kidney failure, where the kidneys progressively lose their ability to efficiently filter waste from the blood. Therefore, for patients in need of lithium therapy, 
Regular monitoring of lithium blood levels and renal function is crucial to ensure both treatment effectiveness and kidney health. The fourth medication on the list is hydrochlorothiazide, a diuretic commonly prescribed to treat hypertension and edema. This medication helps reduce blood pressure and swelling by increasing the amount of urine the body produces. Although effective in its primary purpose, hydrochlorothiazide can also have adverse effects on the kidneys, especially if used improperly or for an extended period. Excessive use of diuretics like hydrochlorothiazide can lead to dehydration and electrolyte imbalances, conditions that overload the kidneys and impair their function. From a medical perspective, the concern with the use of hydrochlorothiazide in kidney health lies in its ability to alter the body's fluid and electrolyte balance. These changes can increase the risk of kidney stones, especially in predisposed patients. Additionally, in some cases, prolonged use of thiazide diuretics can lead to decreased kidney function and the development of interstitial nephritis and inflammation of kidney tissues. Therefore, it is important that the use of hydrochlorothiazide is accompanied by regular assessments of kidney function and careful monitoring of the patient's fluid and electrolyte balance to prevent potential kidney damage. The fifth medication that deserves attention regarding kidney health is acetaminophen, also known as paracetamol. This medication is widely used as a pain reliever and fever reducer, effectively alleviating mild to moderate pain and reducing fever. Although considered safe when used as directed, excessive or prolonged use of acetaminophen can lead to serious liver damage and, to a lesser extent, also affect the kidneys. Acetaminophen renal toxicity typically occurs due to the ingestion of very high doses of the medication, which can happen accidentally, especially when combined with other products containing acetaminophen. It's important to emphasize that, while less common than liver toxicity, renal toxicity of acetaminophen should not be underestimated. Overloading the kidneys with high doses of acetaminophen can lead to injuries in the renal tubules, essential structures in the blood filtration process. In extreme cases, this overload can result in acute kidney failure, a condition in which the kidneys rapidly lose their ability to filter waste from the blood. Therefore, it is crucial to respect recommended dosages and avoid prolonged use of acetaminophen especially in individuals with pre-existing renal health conditions or who use other medications that may interact and increase the risk of toxicity. The sixth medication in our analysis is omeprazole, a proton pump inhibitor often prescribed to treat conditions like gastroesophageal reflux and stomach ulcers. Omeprazole is effective in reducing stomach acid production, providing significant relief from related symptoms. However, its prolonged use has been associated with various side effects, including potential kidney damage. Recent studies suggest that long-term use of omeprazole may increase the risk of chronic kidney disease and acute kidney injury, although the exact connection between the medication and these renal conditions is still under investigation. Concerns about omeprazole and kidney health primarily revolve around its long-term use without proper supervision. The mechanism by which omeprazole may affect the kidneys is not fully understood, but it is believed to be related to changes in renal filtration or an immune reaction. Additionally, reduced stomach acidity can impact the absorption of certain nutrients and medications, indirectly affecting kidney health. Therefore, it is important that the use of omeprazole is carefully monitored by healthcare professionals, especially in patients at an increased risk of kidney diseases, and that its use is limited to the necessary period for treating the specific condition. The seventh medication that can negatively impact kidney health is warfarin, an anticoagulant widely used to prevent the formation of blood clots in conditions such as atrial fibrillation, deep vein thrombosis, and pulmonary embolism. 
While warfarin is effective in reducing the risk of thrombotic events, its use is also associated with renal complications. The primary renal risk associated with warfarin is warfarin nephropathy, a rare but serious condition characterized by bleeding in the renal tubules and the formation of clots within the kidney blood vessels, which can lead to obstruction and renal damage. From a medical perspective, Warfarin nephropathy is more common in patients with pre-existing risk factors such as compromised renal function, diabetes, hypertension, or a history of coagulation disorders. The exact mechanism by which warfarin causes renal damage is not fully understood, but it is believed to be related to its ability to interfere with blood coagulation, leading to microbleeding in the kidneys. This emphasizes the importance of careful monitoring of anticoagulation levels in patients using warfarin, especially those at high risk of renal complications. DOS adjustments and regular monitoring of blood coagulation parameters are crucial to minimize the risk of warfarin nephropathy and ensure the renal safety of patients. If what I shared so far has resonated with you, I have something special that will interest you. Don't miss the opportunity to transform your life and start living your healthiest self today. By acquiring the ebook Secrets to Unshakable Health, you will have a guide with practical and proven strategies for living a longer, disease-free life. Click on the link in the first pinned comment and discover the path to lasting and robust health. The eighth medication on our list is metformin, one of the primary drugs used in the treatment of type 2 diabetes. Metformin helps control blood sugar levels by improving the body's response to insulin. While it is generally safe and effective, there are concerns regarding its use in patients with pre-existing kidney disease or reduced renal function. The renal risk associated with metformin is lactic acidosis, a rare but serious condition that occurs when too much lactic acid accumulates in the body which can be exacerbated by impaired renal function. Monitoring the renal function of patients using metformin is essential, especially in those at an increased risk of kidney diseases. Metformin-induced lactic acidosis is more likely to occur in patients with significant renal insufficiency, as the kidney's ability to eliminate the medication from the body is compromised. Therefore, evaluating renal function before initiating metformin treatment and periodically during its use is crucial. This allows for dose adjustments as needed and minimizes the risk of renal adverse effects, ensuring that diabetes treatment is safe and effective. The ninth medication on our list is rifampin, an antibiotic often used in the treatment of tuberculosis. While rifampin is effective in eliminating the bacteria causing tuberculosis, it can have significant side effects on the kidneys. One of the risks associated with rifampin use is interstitial nephritis, an inflammatory reaction in the kidneys that can impair the organ's ability to filter waste and toxins from the blood. This condition is relatively rare but can be serious and lead to long-term renal damage if not identified and treated promptly. From a medical standpoint, monitoring kidney function is crucial for patients undergoing rifampin treatment, especially those with pre-existing renal conditions or who use other medications that can affect the kidneys. Symptoms of interstitial nephritis include a decrease in urine output, swelling, and discomfort in the kidney area. In cases of suspected rifampin-induced nephritis, immediate medical evaluation is essential to confirm the diagnosis and adjust treatment if necessary. Proper management includes discontinuing the use of rifampin and replacing it with another antibiotic when possible to avoid permanent kidney damage. The tenth and final medication on our list is celecoxib, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID, of the selective COX-2 inhibitor class, primarily used to treat pain and inflammation in conditions like arthritis. Although celecoxib is designed to be gentler on the stomach than other traditional NSAIDs, it still carries significant risks for kidney health. 
The primary concern is that celecoxib can decrease blood flow to the kidneys, which can lead to a reduction in kidney function, especially in patients who already have compromised renal function or are at risk of kidney disease. It is essential for patients using celecoxib to be monitored for any signs of renal dysfunction. This is especially critical for older individuals, patients taking diuretics, or those with medical conditions that already compromise kidney function. Warning signs include fluid retention, increased blood pressure, and decreased urine output. If there is suspicion of kidney injury, it is crucial to reassess the use of celecoxib. In some cases, DOS adjustments or even discontinuation of the medication may be necessary to prevent more severe kidney damage. Patient safety should always be the priority, with a careful assessment of the benefits and risks of treatment. Maintaining healthy kidneys is essential for overall well-being, and the first important tip is proper hydration. Drinking enough water is vital for the kidneys as it helps dilute substances in the urine that can form kidney stones and also aids in the filtration and elimination of waste from the body. The ideal amount of water can vary depending on body weight, climate, and physical activity level, but a good starting point is to drink at least 8 glasses of water a day. This will keep your kidneys functioning efficiently and help prevent kidney problems. Another crucial tip is to maintain a balanced and healthy diet. This means limiting salt intake, as excess sodium can raise blood pressure, one of the leading risk factors for kidney disease. Additionally, a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can help maintain the ideal weight and reduce the risk of diabetes, another common cause of kidney disease. Avoiding processed foods with high saturated fat content also contributes to kidney health, as it reduces the likelihood of developing conditions that can overload the kidneys. Finally, it is essential to monitor health through regular checkups, especially if you have risk factors for kidney disease, such as hypertension, diabetes, or a family history of kidney disease. Regular checkups with a healthcare professional will allow you to track kidney function and identify any problems at early stages. This is particularly important because kidney diseases often do not present symptoms until they are in advanced stages. Furthermore, if you are taking medications that may affect the kidneys, such as anti-inflammatories, it is important to discuss with your doctor about regular monitoring of kidney function and potential treatment alternatives. Today, on Health Dose, we explored 10 common remedies that can have significant side effects on our vital organs. From anti-inflammatories to medications for chronic diseases, we've seen how crucial it is to be aware of the impacts these substances can have. But we haven't left you without hope. We've also shared valuable tips on how to keep your kidneys healthy and functioning well. Remember, information is your greatest ally in health. Staying hydrated, following a balanced diet, and getting regular checkups are simple yet powerful steps to preserve kidney health. And, of course, always consult your doctor before making any changes to your medication or lifestyle. If you found this video informative and helpful, don't forget to like and share it with friends and family. Your engagement is essential to provide more people with quality health information. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe to stay informed about more content like this. Here on Health Dose, your well-being is always our greatest motivation. Until next time.